the sexiest girl band in the business, the Pussycat Dolls, played Dublin's O2 last night before thousands of screaming fans. Ashing was backstage to chat with the super saucy quintet. I'm reaching for your shirt, what you want me to do? I'm telling you to loosen up my buttons, baby, but you keep running up. Dolly Doll Buddy Cat. I did, I did see a Buddy Cat. In fact, I've just seen five Pussycat Dolls and they've headed that away. And I'm going to catch up with them here backstage at the O2 for a chat before they go on. What's going on? What's up, Rosie? And you don't care what they say. Yeah. See every time you turn around, you say the ball. Now there's great excitement outside. You have thousands of teenagers waiting for you here in the O2. Are you pumped? You've just got a few minutes really before you get on stage. I know. Oh, we're super excited. It's so amazing. The fans over here have just been so receptive and show so much love and support. And to be here in Dublin performing at the O2 Center is just an amazing experience for us. This is our second um, big tour here in Dublin. I remember it so fondly last time. The kids and the energy, all the girls out there, all the Pussycat Dolls were so unbelievable. They... When I grow up, I want to be now, I have to say, girls, I mean, you know, we like you. We like you a lot here, but at the same time, you kind of make us sick. Because, wow. look at G. Okay, look at this. You don't have any cellulite. There's no rolls oh, coming out yeah. over anywhere. This is just not fair. I mean, apart from dancing, how do you keep so fit? I think it's really important also to have a healthy lifestyle, but self-tanning does not hurt anybody, okay? <laughs> that hides everything. Fishnets help me feel yeah. good. It sucks everything in for me on stage. So. And of course, you started with the burlesque dancing. It is ultra sexy, and you have come in for quite a bit of criticism. In Malaysia, first of all, wasn't there? Yeah. And then quite a few parents groups. How do you actually respond when people say you're too sexy? <laughs> Well, you know, we're in the show business. When we get on stage, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We go out there to entertain people. And with entertainment comes costumes and glitz and glamour. And, you know, the Pussycat Dolls does have a history, but it's always been very stylized. It's about a certain style of dance, a certain style of, of costume. But, you know, some people want us to tone it down. And from Malaysia, we went back and we covered from neck to, to knee. And we do what we can in order to reach out to all of our fans. What is your problem, Daddy? Oh, you go. I have to ask you about Valentine's Day. It's coming up it's around the corner. How will you be spending it, Nicole? Um, with all the fans <laughs> in Munich. Um, no, I think I have a special Valentine's Day that I hope, hope I get to see. But um, until then, I have four hot girls with my day. And we'll be in Munich. And Munich is a special place indeed for Nicole because that's where she hooked up with Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton more than a year ago at the MTV Music Awards. My dance partner on stage is my boyfriend, so I'll get to be spending Valentine's Day on stage with him. Oh, that's good. What about you two girls? I've actually been with a boyfriend for He's one month now. He's amazing. He's coming to see me in a couple of days, so I'm excited. Okay, so you're all loved up kittens. Not me. Yeah. Not you? Well, yes, you are. Say. Electra, this is incredible. A lot of people don't know this. That when you started way back in LA, that she was one of the leads. Do you actually meet her at all now? Yeah, we bump into her all the time. Carmen's the best. She's a big reason why the Pussycat Dolls are where we are today. As for going solo, Nicole is still working on her own album. The album will come out. You never know when it's going to come out. It might be this year, it might be next year. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm a perfectionist with the music and I'm just working on that. And so fortunate to be able to be on the road with the dolls. Mr. Tin Man or something. Gee, I don't want your car.